Some former customers of a now closed Henderson car shop are starting to receive checks in the mail. More than two dozen people accuse that business owner of scamming them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. 8 News Now reporter Joshua Pagaro speaking with one of the victims today. David Bozell says he paid insane power more than $15,000 to customize a classic vehicle. It took him more than two years to get it back and another year after that before his money was returned more than $20,000, including attorney fees. So now that you have this money, how do you feel? Do you feel like a chapter's been closed? Or? No, no. I, um, my son's gift never got given to him. I never got to give my kid his gift. Bozell says this 1968 GMC truck is in worse shape now than when he dropped it off to insane power. Parts are missing, including a custom-built engine. According to a lawsuit he filed in December of 2020, he handed his truck over to the shop's owners in November of 2019. Seven deadlines they gave me. Seven. Bozell says he was told this was a four-month job. It sat down there for two years. It took me that long to get my truck back and an attorney to get it. Through a records request, I found that 26 former Insane Power customers went to Henderson PD accusing the owners of theft and grand larceny. Investigators estimated their total loss at $300,000. Sometime this spring, Insane Power suddenly closed. This surveillance video we obtained shows in April customers broke into the business located near Galleria and Papco Road and began taking car parts and vehicles. If you knew what you know now, you would have never... No, absolutely not. There are too many reputable people in this city. David Bozell says he was able to get his money back earlier this month after his attorney placed a lien on the home of the owners of Insane Power. My previous request to speak with him were unsuccessful. Brian? Joshua, thank you. Henderson police closed their investigation into insane power without bringing any charges, calling this issue a civil matter.